In the previous video, we understood what is a deformer node and what attributes and function come with the deformer node. In this chapter, we would write a ripple deformer. And before we start writing the code, I would show you what does this ripple deformer look like and how we create a deformer in our Maya scene and what are what is the functionality of it. So I have three lines of code here, Maya commands, I load the script and then I create a deformer. And as soon as I create deformer, it gives me two attributes, amplitude and displace. And with the amplitude, I can create a wave ripple on the geometry. And with the displace, I can displace that wave. And it gives pretty artistic effects if you multiply the subdivisions. So these are all the shapes I'm changing just by adding the subdivisions into geometry. And if I would change the displace, it would give you that ripple on the mesh. And you can change the amplitude which flows in the direction of the normal of a vertex. So that's what we are going to create in this video. In the previous video, we saw what functions uh, we need for writing a deformer. So now we would go back to Maya and uh, start writing some code. So before I create any function, I would import the required classes my.openMaya as openMaya and I would have to import mpx class as well and then I would create a variable for the node name and I would call this as a ripple variable because uh, or I would give the name to this node name as a ripple because in this example we are going to create a ripple deformer. Then I would create a node ID variable which would be of openMaya.m type ID and I would give it a hexadecimal number. Then I would need a class and I would call this class as a ripple and we know that we would have to inherit something here so for when we created the commands we inherited mpx command class and when we created our custom node In that case, we imported mpx node class. And in the cases of deformer, we would import mpx deformer node class. 